what up everybody it's your girl watch me cough and welcome back to my channel today we're doing another mukbang and um we have some kfc i asked you guys to vote on my instagram what you guys wanted to see me eat and drop comments down below i got a majority of the votes from my instagram um and you guys wanted to see me eat something dipped in cheese so that's what we're doing today i've got some chicken sandwiches some french fries uh, a biscuit some macaroni and cheese and one of their famous bowls it's got like mashed mashed potatoes like chicken gravy and stuff in it so i got it without the corn because i don't really like the corn and i got some soby my favorite soby it's the citrus flavor so that we got that to drink but before we get started i am going to roll up a little something special so today is going to be a video about um obviously my mukbang and then um i'm gonna just kind of give you guys a little bit of an insider look to my life and what i've been up to you know like the last five years you know work wise because a lot of people are interested in you know what i did in the cannabis industry and whatnot and you know kind of my journey through there so i'm gonna just kind of go through that with you so um, the reason why I'm looking down is because I have my tray right here, so I'm just going to roll up something real quick. But, um, so I guess just like jumping right in because that's how we do it around here. Um, so yeah, I, about, I don't know, five years ago, just not even to put a date on it, about five years ago, I was like working in, um, like the medical field I was doing like caregiving and like med teching and stuff like that and um, I did like in-home care for a little bit and um I did that for like three years like for like a solid three years and I bounced around from like retirement home to retirement home and whatnot um and I liked it you know it was a very humbling job like just Overall, it was just a very humbling job for me, um, you know, because you see a lot of, you know, a lot of things that are, are sad, you know, when you work in that kind of industry. Um, but I wasn't sure if, you know, for, you know, since I was a little girl, I wanted to be like a doctor. I used to help my, my grandma, like, um, I used to help my grandma put her insulin shots, like, in her belly. And sorry guys, I'm going to try to hurry and do this. This might be a little bit of a longer video. <laughs> um, but yeah, I used to help my grandma like put her insulin shots like in her belly. And you know, for the longest time I wanted to be a nurse. So I wasn't sure if like that's what I wanted to do. You know, I wasn't sure if that's what my passion was. But um, my friend had told me that they had an opening at like the cannabis farm that she worked at. And I was like super stoked, like I wanted in, you know, but I couldn't just like up and leave my job, you know, until I knew that that was going to be a solid job, you know. Sorry, I should have done this off camera. <laughs> All right. That's what it looks like. I'll wait for it to, to dry a little bit so I can stuff it. Um, but yeah, so I uh, wanted to make sure it was just like credible before I just up and quit my job. Because, you know, it was like brand new. It was like brand new. The industry was, was brand spanking new. And you hear stories. So I wanted to make sure that it was like a right fit. But I had like my interview and I went in and I got the job and I was just like, oh my God, oh my God, like, <laughs> but like I ended up like quitting my job that, that, that day, like I, I up and quit my job in the medical field to go work in cannabis. And honestly, it was probably one of my, the best decisions that I ever had made because it was just so exhilarating, it's cool, but also very intimidating, you know? So I started, or I'm not gonna mention anywhere of like where I've worked, you know, just to um, conceal, you know, my, you know, where I live and whatnot. But 
um, I started work out in a, um, working with a friend of mine and I literally had a knack for it. Like I started out as a trimmer, like where you, you literally just sit with your head in a trim bin for eight to 12 hours straight and trim as much weed as you can. Like that's what I did. And I got so good at it. I was like one of the best people like right off the bat. I actually have a tattoo from the first place that I worked. A girl, uh, a friend of mine that I used to work with there, her and I went and got it. We used to, <laughs> it's right here, it's this one. It's a little Dodge Caravan. Um, we used to carpool every day to work. Me and four other people, two of the people were not brave enough. They were too chicken to get, one, get it. So we went and got it because they all thought that we weren't going to do it. We did it. They were shocked when we sh showed up to work with it. Like, shocked. It was hella funny. But yeah, so I, like, I worked there for about eight months. And then, unfortunately, that place didn't work out. And I was absolutely, oh, I was absolutely fucking devastated. I was absolutely devastated that it didn't work out because it was so cool. It was like my favorite job. I'm going to get into this here in just a second. I was like absolutely devastated that it didn't work out because uh, first of all, this little biscuit, first of all, it was like the most I had ever been getting, you know, paid. And I liked that, obviously. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to stir this cheese up a little bit. Okay. So... It didn't work out because of some crazy shit that went down. <laughs> some crazy shit that went down. Okay, let's take a bite. This is this famous bowl. This is the famous bowl. Oh, hell yeah. That's so good. The gravy's good. I should have got some extra gravy. Yum. Okay. So. I was so, so sad. That didn't work out. But I was like, you know what? This is something I want to do. So. I'm going to make this happen. So. Updating my re I updated my resume. I I sent my resume out to a bunch of bu bunch of farms, bunch of farms. You know, I ended up getting a call back <coughs> <coughs> like a few months after, like maybe two months, and I just collected unemployment during that time. <coughs> but I was like, I don't want to. I don't want to be on unemployment. I want to work in the industry. And I got a call back. Okay, let's try this. Yum. I love cheese. Like this, this tea, this cheese is like the Tostito, the Tostito medium kind. Then it's good on anything. Okay. Let's try this mac and cheese. It looks a little dry. Oh, it's good. <laughs> so. I got a call back from someone and I was like, yeah, so I went for an interview, nailed it, nailed the interview on, on site, 
we were at a Tully's, I think it was. I think it was a Tully's that I had my interview at. And I ended up like killing the interview and got hired on this on the spot. I've never had a problem getting hired on the spot. And oh, we gotta close this. Didn't seal it good enough. Ended up getting hired on the spot. And I started to work like that next week. And so from there, I had told the pe some of the people that I had worked with at the last place, you know, hey, put your resume in, put your resume in, and ended up getting two people their job. And from there, you know, I became literally one of the top trimmers. Again, like, again, I was on, like, the fast track to management. Man. That was short lived. That was like five months <laughs> at that farm. And at that point, I was like, damn. Because it didn't work out again. Not from any fault on my own. Those things with the company didn't work out. Not when. A lot of people lost their job. A lot of people lost their job. <laughs> Heartbroken again. Then, I was like, still, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I need to, I need to do this. I need to do this. No. I wanted to be in the industry. Because it was, it's cool. You guys, it's like really cool. If you're in a legal state and you work, you know, in the industry, like you guys know how cool it is. This is bomb.com. It's almost, I think it's like 4.30 here. And this is my first time eating again today. And then, so I really, I was like, <laughs> I'm waiting for my tray to come in, you guys. This is a Christmas tray. <laughs> it's the only one I had here. My sister ordered me a tray, so I should be getting it soon. It's really cute. Um, so after that, I was like, I really want to. Ooh, let's try this chicken sandwich. I still really wanted to be in the industry. So, Jesus, look how big this is. This is huge. That pickle looks gross. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> oh, it's crunchy. I was about to put it down. I'm like, why? Okay, let's try to dip this in here. Not as much cleaner than I thought. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Whew. I got the spicy chicken sandwich. It's spicy. I was like, God, what's spicy? That cheese, that. And then that cheese was that spicy. And I'm like, well, oh, it's the sandwich. So then I got a call from 
from um from this farm like way way the fuck out there but i was like i'm willing to drive the last one i was taking a ferry an hour and then walking an hour because i didn't have a car at the time i do now thank goodness so i've always been willing to go the distance to like work at these farms you know so I go to this interview, I, I, two interviews in one day, two different farms. First one felt like I rocked it, but I didn't get the job on the spot. Second one rocked it, got the job on the spot. They asked me to come in for a like a trial period, you know, they noticed right away that I was fast as fuck. <laughs> so I was like working there, working there, working there. But the job that I really wanted hadn't called me back in. And I had been working at this new place for like two months, two, three months. And this was crazy because I got a call back from, I got a call back from, the farm that I had wanted to get a job at and I was like comfortable at the place that I was working at so I wasn't initially going to take the job and then one day I went to the farm that I was working at and someone did something I did not appreciate and I was like you know what I got this job on the back burner why would I stay here and get treated like that when I have a new I have another job that I could go to so I did <laughs> and then that's a job that I stayed at for like three years. I did it all at that job. Oh my God. And all the other jobs, I was a trimmer for the most part. That job, I did so much stuff. And a lot of cool things too. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. And a lot of these, for the reasons that they didn't work out, it's just because of the industry. Like, if you know, you know. <laughs> like, but I'm not resentful. That was so good. <laughs> now I'm getting a little full. Let's eat some of this. Put a little of that cheese and put it on here. Because it's a little... A little dry. Um, and then I worked at another farm for a short stint. Where I trimmed and killed it there. And now, I'm just working on myself. Loving life. Doing me. Building my brand my empire you know and loving it so for everybody out there that says that you can't do it or you don't have the willpower to do it or you need somebody to tell you you can do it. listen this is me telling you you can do it okay you don't always have to work for somebody else you know and it's been you know a true blessing to be able to start to be able to do stuff from home considering you know um what our world is going through right now but i had some oh my god i had some like crazy memories you know i met a lot of cool people a lot of famous people smoked blunts with famous people i went to one of the biggest weed conventions in the entire world while i was working there while I was working for one of the places. So it was like legit. Now I'm smoking on some double purple doja. It's <coughs> <coughs> stony. <coughs> Trying on a new hairstyle today as well. 
didn't put too much product in it so it's just kind of my natural nothing in it what do you guys think all right let's eat a little bit more <coughs> you guys like gotta let me know what you <laughs> what you want me to eat next oh i also have a really really awesome video coming probably in the next like two to four weeks i just gulped so loud <laughs> um yeah i have a really fun video coming in the next couple weeks so you guys got to make sure you subscribe so you can see what video is going to be dropping what you guys have the next two two weeks to a month Oh my god. Okay. Um, I haven't done much dipping of the cheese, so. With this, at least. Okay. Oh my god. That's a lot. Alright, let's see how big a bite I can get. Mmm. 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 Yes. Look how thick that is. That is huge. Oh my god, it's spicy. But it's good. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna finish these fries. And then sign off because I'm full. Should I do an ASMR video? Why I don't talk? And some of you are like, yes. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I just dropped one. I'm gonna go watch some Real Housewives after this. Pick that. Then go ride my scooter. Follow me on Instagram to see all my little scooter travels. So fun. Okay, one more bite. Last bite. Hmm. Cheers. Done. Done. All right, you guys. That was it. Let me know what you thought, what you think. Let me know what you want me to eat next. And that's it for today. Till next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.